The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Warhawks and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Pretty nice pick up here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. It's scooped up and it's a lineman that's got it. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. From their own 30-yard line, third down. it out to maybe the 33 yard line that was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field A yard, maybe two on the carry. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offensive first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. going to run it and he's got room to work and he's taken down at the 28 the offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing they're not in a hurry but they're very very methodical and very consistent with their approach that's a third first down that they've picked up on this drive first down 10 yards to go ball on the 28 yard line Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and eight. And he tackles him hard at the 26. 
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 17. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gives it right side. A two-yard run by the halfback. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 15. play and he's tackled at the 15 yard line here's play number 10 on the drive First and goal. First down. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. On the pass. Touchdown. Boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11 play, 74 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Trojans are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They come out in a five-wide set. Big opening. Brought down around the 40-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. tries to buy some time he's at midfield and down he goes at about the 47 yard line well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback they'll line up with five wide receivers now he's scrambling decides to tuck it in and he's got space tackle made at the 32 Got any yardage. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Tackle at the 21. and brought down. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 22. Five wide. Five wide. 
Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Trojans with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And incomplete. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. USC is up by four. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 40. his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You've got an open man like this. Just step and deliver and make the throw. Throws it deep. It's picked off. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. from their own 23-yard line. It's first down. Aaron and up long. Doesn't get there. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. up a screen. Tailback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27. He scrambled. And they push him out at the 37. They come out on an empty backfield. He's got it with room to run. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Taken down right around the 48-yard line. That's a game second. First down. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they'll get him in the backfield. Three-yard loss there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. This is the ninth play of the current drive. 
The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Now he's going to run and watch out. About nine yards there on the quarterback scramble. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. USC is up four. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 14. And he throws it away. six-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. First down. Here's the throw to the fullback. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Taken down at the 40-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. They'll bring him down at the 50. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Down of bounds, right around the 40. From the 40 yard line, first down. USC holds a four point lead. Gets it, he's in space. He's knocked out of bounds around the 31 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. to scramble, but he's sacked. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. And now he pitches it. 
He makes it to the 28-yard line. USC is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. USC is up by four. So a 14-play, 96-yard drive. And the result, seven points. We played a half of football. USC leads it Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes, around the 39-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 39. Catches it, and that's all. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. The defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Fires it out. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. That makes it second and ten. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. First and goal. 
It's the ninth play of the drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. Well, we've got a player down, and let's hope that's nothing serious. Second down, goal to go. About a yard to Pater. Touchdown, Trojans. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 69-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's on the run. Slides down. They come out in a five-wide set. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. That brings us fourth and seven. The Trojans' running game just took a big hit. Their back went out earlier with that injury, and now they're telling he's not going to be able to return today. Tackle made at the 35. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. The 37 yard line. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 37 yard line. Third down. He airs it out. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 65-yard drive, and they put up seven points. USC to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 44. USC is a type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 85 was the intended receiver. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Here we go. And a 
gets caught, and he's brought down quickly. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at about the 49. He's going to pick up less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. That makes it fourth and four. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He takes it at the 12. Oh, what a hit. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. So the sack makes this a second and long. USC with a big advantage. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. That makes it third and seven. That's three down and one to go. The Trojans with a huge lead. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. He goes downtown. Caught. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. You know, this could be considered rubbing salt in the wound because you have to keep playing for the entire 60 minutes. So if the defense has a problem with it, they need to defend it better. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's scrambling. He scrambles and picks up five. Throws it out at all. He's hit hard for a loss. Loss is in the way. Third down again. USC looking to add to this big lead here. Fires across the middle. That's a great tackle at the 20-yard line. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Runs left and quickly taken down. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sideline, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play.
just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. Kicks away, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Less than three minutes in the game. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. They'll bring him down right around to 34. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First and ten. Ball on the 36. comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Up the middle for a nice game. I'm sure are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.